Hey everyone, I am back today with a new Lightroom tutorial and today we are going to be editing this photo and I'm going to be showing you what you can do in Lightroom to bring back the detail of a photo. So as you can see, this image was shot pretty underexposed and the reason for that is because we were shooting just after sunset, the sun had set behind these mountains here. And as I was taking these photos, I wanted to make sure that I was able to save as much of every aspect of the image as I possibly could. <laughs> so in case that doesn't make sense, I wanted to make sure that I shot underexposed enough that I could keep the details and the light in the sky so it wasn't just like white and blown out. And I also wanted to make sure that I exposed high enough to make sure that I could still save the details of our model here so you can see her properly in the photo when we finish editing it. So in normal situations when I'm shooting, I do like to expose for the model's face and I make sure that, you know, they're really clear and that the photo is balanced. But in these really harsh lighting conditions, sometimes you need to expose a little bit differently and kind of save the image in post. So unless I had like artificial lights or something lighting up my model, that's it's just not possible to shoot that with just natural light. So that's why I expose the image the way that it is. So let's get into it. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna edit this photo to just bring back everything and make it look like a really nice final image. So the first thing I'm gonna do is bring up the exposure slightly. Not too much because we don't want to lose that detail in the sky. And I'm going to go and bring the highlights down to try and see how much of that sky we can save. So we're actually able to save a lot of the sky. I'll just show you a before and after of those edits quickly. And it's really brought back all these details in the clouds and the color here in the distance as well. So I'm quite happy with that. The next thing I want to do is bring out the model. So I'm going to bring the shadows up in the photo and this should only affect the shadowy parts of the image. So let's bring that up. So that's pretty much saving a nice section of our subject here. And now we can clearly see the model properly, which I really like. So when you bring the shadows up in a photo, it tends to lose contrast. So I also like to bring the blacks down a little bit just to add a little bit of that punch back into the image. And that the blacks really only affects the darkest, darkest areas of your photo. So as you can see, it's affecting here in the, in like the mountain foresty area, as well as our model's hair. So I think just about there is looking good. So when I'm editing a photo like this, I like to kind of go through each of the sliders multiple times and just adjust them little by little. So I did the highlights and the shadows already, but then I want to go back and I'll move the exposure up just a little bit as well as the shadows again. And then I'll move the blacks down a little bit more. And I'll basically just tweak everything until I'm happy with what the image is looking like. So I feel like it's looking really good so far. I'm also going to add a tone curve to it to give the image a little bit more style. So I'm gonna do my favorite kind of S curve to kind of give the image a film-like look. So I like to pull the blacks up to mattify the image. And then I bring the whites up a little bit and I also like to pull the highlights down. And that kind of flattens the white area of the photo as well. So here's a little before and after of the tone curve. And I might bring down the whites a little bit more because we're losing a lot of detail in that sky with the curve. I think just there is good. Perfect. So once you've finished editing the tone of your photo, I'm really happy with how balanced this is all looking so far. You can see the model, you can see a bit of the background, you can also see detail in the sky. I'll show you a before and after of all the tonal edits that we've done. So that was the original image and this is with all our edits so far. So once you've done the tonal editing, it tends to affect the colors of the image a lot. So I like to move on to that next. So the first thing I'm noticing is that our model looks really blue and when I'm editing colors, I want to note that I normally focus on my subject's skin tone the most as I feel like if you get that right, the whole image kind of balances and comes together. So let's bring up the temperature until our model's skin tone is looking a little bit warmer. So I think just about there. 
and bringing up the temperature has sort of added like a green tint to our photo. So I'm also going to bring up the tint into the pinks a little bit. There we go, it's looking much nicer. And now that we've edited the colors, I just wanna go back and adjust the tone a little bit more. So I'm gonna bring up the exposure just a little bit and add a little bit of contrast with the contrast slider. And we are done with our image. So here is the final before and after. This is the original image that was straight out of the camera. And this is what it looks like with all our editing. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and I hope you learned something. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys all really soon. Bye.